Okay, let's find the greatest common factor, the GCF for 24 and 60. And the GCF, that's also called the greatest common divisor and highest common factor. These are the same thing. I like greatest common factor. Let's use that. So what we'll do, we'll find the factors for 24 and 60, look at the common factors, and then select the greatest one. That's the GCF. For 24, 1 times 24, that equals 24. 2 times 12, 3 times 8 is 24, and 4 times 6, but that's it. For 60, 1 times 60, that's 60. 2 times 30, 4 times 15, that equals 60. Uh, 3 times 20, I forgot that one. And 5 times 12, that equals 60, and we do have 6 times 10. That also equals 60. So lots of factors there for 60. So we have the factors. Let's look at what we have in common. 1 goes into 24. 1 goes into 60. 2, 3. Yeah, we have 3, 4. Lots of them. Is there a 6? Yeah, 6. Is there an 8? Don't see an 8, but there is a 12, and it looks like 12 is the greatest number that goes into 24 and 60 evenly. So the GCF for 24 and 60, that's just going to be 12. So that's it. That's how you find the greatest common factor for 24 and 60. And the answer is 12. You could also use something like prime factorization to do this. You'd get the same answer. But unless you have really big numbers, this is a pretty reliable method. This is Dr. B. Thanks for watching.